the Middle East that you'll be handing over to the next president has, is deeply problematic. What region Richard, are you handing over? Richard, those folks were always around. They were here. And uh, no, I, I, I just, this is the beehive theory. We should have just let the beehive sit there and hope the bees don't come out of the hive. Didn't think bees could talk, did you? That's right, come look at the talking bee, everybody. Smash the bees, to, uh, hive, and let them spread. Excuse me for a minute, Richard. And somehow to suggest that bees would stay in the hive is naive. So you're saying, you said that it was appeasement. You didn't get it exactly right either. But I also talked about the need to defend Iran. How far away do you think Iran is from developing a nuclear capability? Uh, you know, that's an interesting question. I believe, yeah, I bet. You know, Richard, I don't want to speculate, but one thing is for certain. Um, its position in the world is rising because of your so, actions see, in Iraq. See, I'm not so sure I agree with that. Uh, that's, that, that, that's, that's, a, that's a premise I don't necessarily agree with. You talked about Iran being a major threat to American policies in, in the region. Well, that's uh, interesting people you are said that. That's a, that's a little different from the surveys I've seen. So it doesn't sound like there's an end anytime soon. Uh, they've been hurt. The war on terrorism has been the centerpiece of your presidency. And they're going to be hurt even more as uh, liberty advances and freedom advances. Many people say that it has not made the world safer, that it has created more radicals, that there are more people in this part of the world who want to attack the United States. You can say that. Or creating more people who want to kill us, one could also say. Uh, you know, that's an interesting question. I believe, yeah, but, you know, Richard, I don't want to speculate. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, sir.